Candace, we know that officials say that at least one of the students injured is still here in the hospital. They say the other two students that were hospitalized are now home, but they say all of those students that were hospitalized do have severe injuries and they say they do have a long road to recovery. This as the district says they also have a long road ahead as they work to determine how this could have happened when they say they have district mandated safety protocols that were supposed to be in place. A week ago today, uh, 19 families sent their young people to school, um, not knowing that um, the young people that would come home to Moon would be very different than the ones they sent here. One week ago, it looked like this at Dinwiddie High School. A medical helicopter was airlifting a student to the hospital, while two other students and a teacher were transported by ambulance to nearby hospitals. It's just a very traumatic experience all around. For the last week, officials had only shared that a chemistry demonstration had caused a fire that resulted in injuries. On Wednesday afternoon, Dinwiddie officials, including fire, EMS, the Sheriff's Office and school superintendent gathered to share so far what they've learned. In time, we will be able to answer all questions uh, relative to this. Officials say a longtime chemistry teacher was conducting an experiment at the front of the class using methanol, which is a flammable liquid. The superintendent says lesson plans indicate he was doing a demonstration about polar bonds. Fire officials say methanol was poured again to repeat the experiment, which caused a flame jet. Officials say flames shot 10 feet across the classroom. They add that no one was wearing goggles at the time of the experiment. It will be part of our investigation as to why uh, it was not being used. The district also says they do not have a formal approval process for science experiments. They let teachers decide as long as it meets guidelines of standards. I asked the superintendent if parents should be concerned about their students' safety moving forward. What would you say to parents who may be concerned um, you know, about their children partaking in science experiments or in science classes moving forward within your district? This is a horrific incident that took place and it should never take place in any school, any classroom. But I would say that our classrooms are safe, our teachers are trained. Do we have work to do? Yes, and we're going to uncover what that work is. As the district learns all of this new information, it's still leaving them with many questions. We have a ways to go. How does this fire take place in a classroom uh, where we have safety protocols and expectations in place? Why did this happen on that day? Uh, why did uh, we choose this specific, specific d demonstration? Now the district says they are looking into if that 18 year old 18 year veteran teacher had any uh, prior incident reports. The district says, you know, as they're investigating all of this, they're pausing current in person chemistry experiments. They also have brought in a long term substitute and they also brought in a chemistry tutor.